Good evening everyone, welcome to 6, 7th and 8th channel of Baijus. I'm your teacher Ankita and I welcome you all in today's very special class where we will be discussing about the human circulatory system. So I hope that all of you are ready. So I'm all ready everyone, right? We thought we'll start our class with a sound but yeah, we could not have... We had a little bit sound issue so really sorry but we thought we'll start with the sound of... Yes, that was a hint given by Manu sir here in the studio, so we are using that. Good evening everyone, how are you all? I hope that all of you are doing great and see what I all have today. See, if you want to be a doctor, today is a very important class for all of you. And for those of you who don't want to be a doctor, please make sure you be there till the end of our class because we will be discussing about the very, very important organ that is present in our body, that is our heart, right? The pumping organ and we'll be discussing about the circulatory system along with that. So everyone, I hope that all of you are ready for the class. Good evening everyone, how are you all? Good evening, I hope that all of you can see me and can hear me clearly everyone. So can we have, can we increase the font size a little bit? Thank you. Good evening everyone, yes. Fine, and if we don't have menti, it's all class. We will be learning the theory part everyone. Yes, I know that bio, yeah, bio has a heart, always. Awesome, everyone. So, everyone, let's get started, right? So, here we have, look, we'll be discussing about this, this particular instrument that plays a very important role, right? So, let's get started, everyone. Give me a minute, I'll just quickly, right? Be right back. Yeah, definitely. So, here, everyone, let's get started. Now, this is a very important chapter that we have from class 7, right? And it's a very interesting chapter altogether. So, we'll be discussing about the human circulatory system. We'll be discussing about the transportation in the animals and of course, right? A little bit in the plants, probably in the later class of our... Yes, in the later part. So, everyone, are you excited for the class? Everyone, please make sure you hit the like button for the video. And please make sure you stay with us till the end. I hope that all of you have your notebook with you, your textbook with you, your pencil so that you can mark the important points and I hope you have your water bottle with you. Good evening everyone, good evening. I can see so many of you joining now. Awesome everyone, so good to see you. Make sure you hit the like button for the video. Yes. Thank you, thank you so much everyone. Chali. So let's get started. Right, we have one hour everyone. We have one hour and I want all of us to utilize that one hour really very diligently, right? Without wasting any of our time. So let's get started. When we talk about the heart, right, we call it as a dash organ. Which organ everyone? Judy, I notice you, Bajje. Yes, I do. Everyone, do tell me the answers, right? Tell me, tell me, Jaldi say. We also call heart as which organ? Pumping organ. Very good. Very good, everyone. The heart is a pumping organ, right? Because it's a one that will be pumping the blood throughout the body. Now, here I'm using few words that will be taking a look in the detail. We will be discussing about the heart. We'll be discussing about the blood, the circulatory system, and what all we have over there, the blood vessels all together. So, let's get started, everyone. When we talk about the human circulatory system, circulation word is over here, right? We know what is circulation. That things that is going keep on round and round. Starting from here, going here, going. Circulation. So, in our human body, right, we have a circulatory system that plays a very important role in the transportation of various materials inside our body. Everyone, remember this. What is the main function of the transport, uh, the circulatory system? It actually helps in the transportation of various important nutrients. Right? And the waste throughout the body. I can see many people saying, Ma'am, it carries the oxygen. Ma'am, it carries, ma'am, the blood carries the oxygen. It carries the carbon dioxide back. Very good. Very good. So, we know that why the human circulatory system is important or what is transportation system. Now, everyone, we are using a very interesting analogy to understand what happens. So, let's suppose we are hungry. Let's suppose now I'm really very hungry, right? But I don't want to cook a food. So what I'll do, probably I'll order from a restaurant, right? So this particular restaurant, what it will do, it will make the food, right? It will make the food, it will properly pack it up. And of course, then the delivery agent will go over there. They, he or she will collect the parcel and will start the journey. And eventually, they will be reaching a, their destination. So we have three important components over here. 
we have component 1, we have component 2 and of course we have component 3 over here. Clear everyone? 1, 2 and 3. Now what is 1 over here? I am 100% sure all of you can answer. Now if we have to compare the restaurant with what are we comparing it? Yes. So just think about it everyone, the heart is a pumping organ. It is a source from where the, all the materials will come, right? So we can say that the restaurant, we can actually compare it with the heart, right? It's where we are getting the blood, right? Basically the oxygen and basically from where we'll see the circulation starting all together. In the heart only the circulation is there and of course basically you know, the heart plays a very important role in the circulation and it happens throughout the body. So, the restaurant is the heart and then of course, we have the blood vessels everyone. What we have? We have the blood vessels and of course, we have the cells or the tissues. Are we clear? Are we clear, bachcho? Sabko samaj mein aaya? All of you, are, are we clear? Yes, or we can write the organs. Write all the organs in the body. So, we know that heart is a pumping organ. Right, which plays a very important role in the circulation of the blood in, in our body and that's how the cells and the organs will be getting the oxygen, will be releasing out their carbon dioxide and will be getting the nutrient also. In a very simple word everyone, what we can say over here that heart is a pumping organ, right, heart is a pumping organ. Clear? What are blood vessels? Blood vessels will actually help in carrying the blood. We will learn about each of these in detail everyone. Don't worry. Right? Clear? And of course we have organs which will be receiving the blood. Chal. Now that we are clear with the basic, right? We are clear, clear with the very basic things, right? Let's move ahead. Yes, Kuldeep, tissues are, on, are nothing but a group of a cells, right? They, it could be similar, it could be dissimilar. Cells combine together, uh, they, when the similar cells or different cells combine together, they form the tissue. Tissues form the organs. You will be learning in your higher class. Chali. Yes, I have noted on your points already. All of you are saying, ma'am, what is the fast travel, fast travel? That's why I, it, that's why I increase the speed, uh, speed a little bit, but now we'll go slow. So now everyone, are you clear what we'll be learning in today's class? Quick thumbs up. See. Whatever we have discussed till now is nothing as compared to the, what the things we'll be learning in the upcoming session, right? Chali. So I want all of you to pay attention. Let's get started, everyone. So we know that the human circulatory system, the system that we have in our body that actually help in the circulation of the blood and the nutrient in the body is called as a human circulatory system. What is the important role of it, everyone? Put a star mark. It's very important. Circulatory system actually help in distributing the nutrients and oxygen to all the cells and to all the tissues. Many of you are asking, ma'am, what are tissues? Tissues are group of cells. Could be similar or could be dissimilar, right? That is called as tissue. See everyone, this is single cell. Right, when we have a bunch of cells, right, when they come together, when they, are, they could be same or they could be different type, we call them as the tissue. Okay, chali. So, we are clear, right? We now clear what is the main function of it. Now, we'll discuss about the important components, everyone. Achha, I will wait over here, everyone. What do you think are the important components of the circulatory system? Tell me without which of these components, circulatory system will not be able to work. For example, let's suppose to have an amazing class, a teacher needs what? Tell me, a teacher need, a teacher of course, a teacher has to be there. It should have students, it should have class, various different desks, lots of things, right? So what are the important components? Very good, very good everyone. I can see, ma'am, heart is important component. Very good everyone. Many people saying, ma'am, blood is a very important component and blood vessels. Awesome everyone. So we have three major and super important components. Apart from that we don't have any major category also. So here we have the three very important components. I'm so proud of you everyone. 
So we have three important components in the human circulatory system. What we have? We have blood. We have blood vessels and we have the heart. So we know that heart is a pumping organ. Blood vessels are the tube-like structures, right? We can call, we usually call them as vessels only. Why vessels? Because of course through which, although they're kind of a pipe, like through which the blood will flow, carrying oxygen and carrying the carbon dioxide. Last but not the least, what the blood vessels are carrying? They are carrying the blood. So everyone, in today's class, we'll be discussing about each of these in detail. We are starting with the blood first, right? We're starting with the blood first. Acha, tell me everyone, all of you have seen the blood, right? I'm sure while playing some time, I'm sure you would have got a small scratch here and there, a small bit of injuries. And when we look at the blood, right, it is red in color. I'm sure all of us have a similar blood color, right? I'm sure there's nobody in class who will say, ma'am, mine is yellow. Ma'am, mine is blue. We are not aliens, right? Yes, very good, very good. I can see that. Very good, everyone. Yes. So, when we talk about the blood, right, it is definitely red in color, but there's very important things about the blood that we'll be learning in today's class. One of the important thing that we have, we have various components. In this also, we have various components, everyone. What are the various components? C. What are the meaning of components? The different parts of it that will be making the blood. So, one of the major components that makes the blood is the plasma, is the plasma, which is a fluid, right? Yellowish of the hay color fluid which is there which makes a majority of the blood plasma very good very good what we have we have the majority of it right more than 50 percent we'll say yes so it actually helps in the transportation of nutrient proteins antibodies etc etc this is a this is a very important thing then of course we have platelets i'm sure you all have seen that after some time when there's a wound, right, what will happen? Initially, the blood, the blood will ooze out. But after some time, right, what will happen? We'll not see the leaking or the oozing out of the blood. We will see that the wound has a kind of, a, you know, invisible tape which has been added over there so that the blood is not coming out. Now, that is a very important role of the component of blood which is platelets. Now, platelets are the cells that actually help in the clotting of the blood, right? Platelets are the ones that actually help in the clotting of the blood. Let's suppose, many of you are asking them, what is wound? Any injury, bachcha, right? Ghaav ho jana, right? We don't have the quiz in today's class, so please don't spam, bachcha, please don't spam. Yes. Okay. Hello, hello, Yuvika, Yel. Hello, Gauri, Renu, Panda, Shreya, Kuldeep. Very good study, history, technical, Shushi, Manpreet, Arav. Yes. Sangeeta, Lakshmi. Yes, it's a platelet cells. Absolutely correct. Yes, it's Mizu. Absolutely correct. Very good, Abhinav, Aradhyaya, Vanshrank, Trishri, Deepika, Manzol, Gargi, Ankit, Smart Learning, B-Champ, Rhea. So many of you are here. Very good, everyone. Then, of course, we have the WBCs, everyone. WBCs are also called as the soldiers of the cell, right? They are the soldiers of the cell and they actually help in fighting the infection. They help in fighting of the infection, right? I can see if you, if you have doubt about the platelets, we have one more. Why? Don't worry, I'll take your doubts. Give me some time. Okay. Then, of course, we have the RBCs, the last but not the least, everyone. We have the RBCs. Now, RBCs are the one that carries, right, the oxygen, right? And, of course, they have a very important pigment, which is hemoglobin that gives a red color to the blood. So, can I ask you, can I ask you, which of the component of the blood helps in uh, giving the color to the blood, right? Which of the component of the blood, right, plays a very important role in giving the color to the blood. That is RBC, red blood cell. And why the red blood cells are red in color? Because they have a very important pigment which is called as hemoglobin. Everyone, are we clear? Now tell me, everyone, are we clear with this? Good, very good. So, 
let's take a look of everyone over here you can take a screenshot of this right plasma we have just discussed right it's a fluid liquid part which of course right makes a majority of the amount of the blood it is yellowish or straw in color right it plays a very important role in the transportation of nutrient to the cells and tissues transport of the waste for removal and maintain the balance in the electrolyte we sometime if you have dehydration i'm sure all of you have taken ors how many of you have tasted ors jaldi jaldi i'm sure all of you if you are athlete right or if you participated in school functions be it annual day or any other day you know what will happen teachers will be ready with the ors now gone are the days where you used to get the mango drink but now what will have will have the electrolyte right ors it is filled with the electrolyte it just gives a good iron balance to our body and it just make us super energetic right and of course help in the uh, healing process also and definitely plays a very important role in providing the hydration that we need yes very good yeah during uh, fever also we take yes definitely we do that so we are clear with this everyone are we clear now give me a quick thumbs up we are clear with the plasma right now let's talk about the other components of the blood which is rbc wbc and platelets here we are starting everyone with rbc i've just spoken that so i'm just showing you the beautiful image over here everyone look over here what we have can you see inside over here see let me just change the pen color over here we have this as the rbc can you see this big circle this is rbc inside it what we have we have the hemoglobin right and on it we can see the oxygen so hemoglobin is what hemoglobin is a protein it is a pigment which is made up of protein we can say that right yes please do take a screenshot bachche please do take a screenshot i will be answering your doubts give me some time right i will be stopping in in 5 minutes more okay thank you shiva yes ma'am do share it with me and i saw it thank you so much yes shiva right so we have rbcs we have oxygen molecule and of course we have hemoglobin that that we can sum it up right our, our life span of rbc is 120 days approximately bachche yes mozel but a 120 days approximately so hemo hemoglobin plays a very important role in carrying the oxygen throughout the body are we clear with this are we clear with this then let's talk about the wbcs now we just discussed the wbcs or the soldiers of the cells they are the one who will be fighting against the fighting against any of the pathogens or antigens or any foreign substance that are entering in our body right the germs will remember like germs very good right if we have any germs in our body wcs will come to the action now we have the last but not the least we have the platelets we know that they are the ones that actually help in the clotting of the blood and see everyone this is how it they do can you see the wound all of you see over here we have the wound right and what will happen the blood is moving out this is a wound that we have there's a cut so what will happen these platelets from the blood will start coming at the wound site and they will form the mesh basically they will form a mesh kind of structure that will not allow the blood to flow through the body everyone are we clear clot means bachche there is a accumulation right the blood stops i'm sure after some time you will see that there is accumulation of the blood the red solidified substance that you see clot clot ho gaya it's clotting right yes very good chaliye so now i'll stop and i'll take your doubts if you have any doubts please do ask me yes the R, uh, rbc's uh, life span is 120 days approximately rbc's wbc's these all are made in the bone marrow of the thigh bone right the biggest bone in our body everyone which is the biggest bone in our body which is the biggest bone fatam sorry fatam i'm answering your questioning where the rbcs are made where the rbcs are made they are made in the thigh bone right of course in the bone marrow yes that's from where we get the majority of the uh, components of our blood femur very good everyone very good okay so we are clear with this any other doubt any other doubt everyone yes okay very interesting everyone 
हाँ कैथरीन इट प्लेज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन अटैचिंग द ऑक्सीजन बच्चे इट इज अक्सीजन कैरियर इफ हिमोग्लोबिन इज नॉट देयर ऑफकोर्स ऑक्सीजन विल नॉट बी एबल टू अटैच ओके यस स्मॉलेस्ट बोन इन दर दैट्स ओनली हिंट आई आई बी एबल टू गिव यू चलिए वेरी गुड एवरी वन फंक्शन ऑफ ब्लड बच्चे एक्चुअली हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ न्यूट्रिय राइट इट एक्चुअली हेल्प इन द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ वेस्ट ऑल्सो कैरिंग एंड throwing out of the body it plays a very important role right it is there for the circulation okay everyone yes hemoglobin is very important because it actually help in two important things right it it actually binds to the oxygen it carries o hemoglobin is oxygen carrier right it takes and of course it gives a red color to the blood pigment gory means a color a hint of course we can so, we, pigment over here is a molecule only right and it is giving us a color or a hint i'll correct myself over there ma'am the ma okay the range everyone that that was a homework question i'm sure i was uh, about to ask you with this so of course the number of the cells that are in our body from rbcs wbcs platelets varies in millions okay so definitely you can search more about it yes very good very good chaliye so let's move ahead everyone we are clear with the blood Now do you tell me, are we hundred percent sure about the blood? Jaldi se, okay. I, I'll make you. I'll make five star everyone. I can't do polls now, but tell me everyone, out of these five star, what is your confidence level? Yes, just about the blood. Simple four things we have studied. Only four things we have studied, right? Tell me everyone, how many stars we have? Five star, five star, five stars. Awesome, invite. Awesome. We'll discuss about Kuldeep. We'll discuss about the Vina Kava. Very good, everyone. So we got the five stars, everyone, in the topic blood, and now we'll be moving ahead. We will now discuss about the blood vessels. So now we know that blood is there. Let's understand who is actually helping in the transportation of it. Who is carrying these blood? Which of the part in our body is carrying the blood throughout the body? So let's get started. Yes. I'm not ignoring anyone, Shivang, Shiva. But Shiv, I'll, I'll, we'll discuss that later. Yes. Okay. Now we have three major different types of categories in the blood vessels. We have arteries, we have veins, and we have capillaries. We'll start one by one. Now, everyone, what you see over here, artery. Can I write over here? Write artery. Then we have vein. and we have capillary okay everyone a for a way we will remember this a for a way so artery will always carry blood from heart will remember this everyone will remember this a for a way a for a way and that actually help us to remember that that it will always carry blood away from the heart clear arteries will carry the blood away from the heart a se away arteries will always carry the blood away from the heart veins may we have v right v we are there so v is always towards heart okay whatever veins we have in our body they will be moving towards heart clear there's a one important thing we should remember yes not ignoring you bhumi dipika manoj vivika yes i know that you vivika yes very good prachi do write it out chaliye shivani it's okay bachche Uh, we will will have this in our uh, slide also so don't worry clear everyone so let's quickly take a look over here so important thing everyone about the arteries is that it always carry the blood away from the heart mostly carry oxygenated blood what is the meaning of oxygenated blood we have the word oxygen right and it carries the oxygenated blood so that means that we can say that it carries the oxygen rich blood you will remember this it carries the oxygen rich blood we have one exception we have one exception over here everyone there's one artery 
विच कैरीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिच ब्लड यस वी हैव वन एक्सेप्शन ओवर हियर द एक्सेप्शन इज ऑफ द पल्मोनरी आर्टरी वी हैव एन आर्टरी व्हिच इज पल्मोनरी आर्टरी दैट कैरीज दैट कैरीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड rich blood okay very good very good pulmonary artery what about the arteries we have they have thick wall they have thick wall you can see over here can you see look at over here they have very thick wall why they have thick walls because they have to carry the blood under very high pressure acha everyone how many of you love to gardening how many of you love to you know uh, how many of you enjoy gardening process jaldi se raise your hand everyone raise your hand how many of you love uh, gardening and i'm sure if you are gardening right if you if you're watering the plants if you have a pipe with you if you keep a finger over there you can feel the pressure and when you release the pressure if you remove the finger from the cap from the tip right from the mouth of the uh, uh, basically the pipe right you will be able to see the water will not be in that will be no, will not be flowing in that particular pressure so what we have over here in our trees arteries may there's a very narrow see over here this is a space right the blood is flowing and the blood flows at a very high speed right and it puts a lot of pressure on the walls hence they have the thick walls so that they can endure the pressure clear they can endure the pressure kids i'm not ignoring you see i whatever i can see over here i i'm replying pavan i'll answer your question later bachche please don't spam now Yes, we'll discuss about it. Pavan Yadav will discuss about it, but requesting you not to spam now. Yes, very good, very good. Yes, I will share the notes, but I will share the notes on the Telegram. Yes, okay. What is high pressure? What is high pressure? Yes, Web, but I just saw your messages. Sangeeta, please, I'm not ignoring anyone. Please don't spam. Saying that you're spamming. Web, I just saw your message. So we're discussing about the uh, pulmonary artery, right? It is the one that carries the carbon dioxide-rich blood, and we have the arteries we're discussing, right? They have the thick walls, and they do not have any valves in it. Basically, they don't have any barriers in between them. They are valves are absent in the arteries. Everyone, you will remember this. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, everyone. Yes. good okay chali so we are clear with the arteries now let's discuss about the veins now veins are a little bit different of course not a little bit they are entirely different from the arteries they carry the blood to the heart they will carry the blood towards the heart they carries mostly the deoxygenated blood here also we have an exception of the pulmonary vein which carries oxygen rich blood which carries oxygen rich blood okay that carries to the heart we'll discuss about that they have a very thin cell walls we can see over here right they have thin cell walls and they have valves to prevent the backflow of the blood so for example everyone if you are moving ahead right and if you if you want that nobody should move back let's suppose everyone here see this is a crowd right so this is a corridor and we have those gates i'm sure you would have visited various monuments and temples and different places all together right so i'm sure you would have seen there they have lot of gates all together so people are standing over there if they have to move to this this gate when the gates will open they will move and they will close the gate yes they close the gate right what is the reason what is the reason of these valve what is the reason of the separation over there so that these people cannot go back there similarly similarly in our blood vessels we have veins which are very thin cell wall and they have valves in between they have the they have valves in between so that the blood cannot flow back right they will be stopping the blood from flowing back blood should only move in one particular direction clear Yes, Imran, you have just joined the session a little bit late. I'll tell you about it, but Jay, please do not spam. Blood is a component of the human circulatory system. It has four important components: plasma, RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. You can watch and come back again. 
गुड चलिए तो दैट्स अबाउट अबाउट दी वेंस एवरीवन डू टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट और मूवी का साइड टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट वेरी गुड वेरी गुड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट एवरीवन व्हाट वी हैव वी हैव द कैपिलरीज नाउ कैपिलरीज आर मेड व्हेन आर ट्रीज एंड वेंस गोस डीपर एंड डीपर इनटू द सेल्स एंड इनटू द टिश्यूज नॉट टू द सेल्स बट टू द टिश्यूज नाउ टू रीच द टिश्यूज दे हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी थिन सो कैपिलरीज आर द ब्लड वेसल्स व्हिच have just one cell ka wall that is the reason they reach is different tissues and there they actually help in the transportation of oxygen and carries out the waste from there so carries the blood to the tissues have very extremely thin walls and they help in the exchange of the molecules so everyone see how interesting this all is see over here we have the arteries we have the capillaries and we have the veins they go narrow and narrow they become the arteriole venules and eventually they'll meet up and they'll form the capillaries over here right they're not meeting meeting but of course they'll be going and of course that's how we'll see the capillaries are all are all there everyone now i'll stop i'll take your doubts those of you who are saying ma'am you're ignoring me but i'm not ignoring you valves what are the valves valves are the barriers that we have in the veins okay that that will stop the preventing it will be preventing the backflow of the blood yes sanjana i've answered your question dipika which molecule i didn't get your question bachche sangeeta appendix is we usually call it as a vestigial organ which is present in the human body right in the cows and other animals right in the herbivorous animals it plays a very important role in the digestion of cellulose but it's not there in the humans right have very negligible uh, functions in the human body ma'am a very interesting question right babluria is asking, asking ma'am if the capillaries is thin then why uh, blood pressure is not more very interesting bachche the blood right when we are talking about the blood so just think that if it has to travel a very high distance i'm sure you would have seen train now it's a very odd analogy i'm using but as the station comes what happens the train speed slows down right right slows down a little bit and of course when it's running throughout the passage it's very very fast similarly we have to understand that the capillaries are surrounded by the tissues so if this is the tissue we have the capillaries over there it's not that the pressure is not there pressure is there definitely but the exchange will be happening based upon the concentration gradient how much you need how much we have clear yes telegram id is 6738 channel of by juice very good very good everyone so i'll stop over here everyone if you have any doubts please do ask me do take the screenshot of this do take the screenshot of this everyone where we have the difference between the blood vessels we have arteries and we have the vein over here which has more pressure can i ask you a question acha you tell me everyone which of the blood uh, blood vessels will have more pressure which of the blood vessel will have more blood pressure jaldi se which of these will have more blood pressure is the artery very good it's the artery yes what we have it's the artery good okay which of the blood vessels will have valves in it which of the blood vessels will have valves in it valves what were the valves they are kind of the stoppers they, they are the barriers which will be preventing the black back flow of the blood veins okay yes okay very good now will have more thick walls which of the blood vessels will have more thick wall which of it will have more thick wall very good shagufta for helping your friends out there awesome first day in life class welcome to the class very good arteries arteries right will have more thick wall and where we have more thin wall easy peasy answer we know that the answer will be 
veins answer is veins smart learning bachche please don't be you are in the class please stay focused i'm not focusing on any of this you know particular one student all of you are equal to me i'm looking at your doubts whatever i can see i am able to you know recall and i'm answering your doubts don't worry about it chaliye very good dipika there is not a molecule bachche capillaries is a structure it's a type of blood vessel it is not a molecule okay yes very good smart learning welcome to the class please kaushalya ask, ask your doubt right okay let me ask you one more question everyone okay which blood vessel carries uh okay which artery everyone which artery okay which artery carries the deoxygenated blood or which artery carries the carbon dioxide rich blood jaldi se i'll explain you i'll explain the clotting process once again give me some time very good pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood carbon dioxide rich blood right very good so with this everyone we are we are actually done with this and now we are actually more than half way through the session and now we'll be taking a look at the next important topic which is heart so what we know about the heart is that heart is a pumping organ right heart is a pumping organ everyone and let's take a look at this amazing amazing video that we have over here in human beings the heart is located inside the rib cage here, everyone, located centrally between the lungs with nearly 2/3 of its mass inclined towards the left of the midline it is a hollow muscular organ shaped like a blunt cone about the size of a human fist the heart is enclosed and held in position by a tissue membrane called the pericardium the pericardium has two layers with a fluid filled cavity in between the fluid is called the pericardial fluid it prevents friction between the two layers The walls of the heart is made of three layers namely the outer epicardium the middle myocardium and the inner endocardium the heart has four chambers the chambers are separated from each other by septa the two upper chambers are called the atria that is the right and the left atrium the lower chambers are called ventricles that is the right and the left ventricle the heart is provided with special muscles called the cardiac muscles which yes everyone so are we clear i think the video got stuck in between but are we clear with this right we saw such an interesting things right so let's quickly recall everyone right must see my diagram is not that great i didn't get right my diag my diagram is not that great but we'll try Okay, what is blood redefined? I don't, I didn't get your question. What is refined? Mm, sorry, I didn't get your question. Can you, can you just say it again properly? Yes. Clotting. Okay, one minute, everyone. What is clotting? Clotting is nothing. One. If there is a oozing out of the blood from the blood vessels, for example, if I have a cut on my finger, if I have a cut over here, the blood will come out. To stop the flow of the blood, what will happen? The platelets will come and they will form a mesh-like structure that will be preventing the flow of the blood. smart learning i think you have this doubt for the longest now i hope that you are clear with it chale now everyone so we are discussing about the heart now you know heart the human heart has four chamber right how many chambers we have we have four chambers now these chambers are called as left atrium left ventricle right atrium and right ventricle if you look over here everyone we can clearly see the right ventricle left ventricle sorry auricle atrium Right, ven uh, right ventricle and left ventricle. All of you repeat after me. All of you repeat after me. How many chambers we have? Kuldeep, I'll answer your doubt. I'll answer your doubt. Pericardium, right? I'll answer that doubt in a bit. How many chambers we have, everyone? We have four chambers in the heart. We have left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, and right ventricle. Then we have important two blood vessels. first of course we have the pulmonary vein 
everyone pulmonary vein is carrying the blood from the lungs i'm writing over here so pulmonary vein is carrying the oxygen rich blood from the lungs to the left atrium over here from here it is going over there so that is pulmonary vein then we have pulmonary artery pulmonary artery carries carbon dioxide rich blood right co2 rich blood from the right ventricle right from the right ventricle to the pulmonary artery and the pulmonary artery will carry is to the lungs and which type of blood it is carrying it is carrying the co2 everyone are we clear with this ma'am what if there is no pulmonary artery ha dyoti bache but that's how the body is designed right i'm sure if, if you look if you in the higher class if you talk about the evolution you will see how the circulation all of it was open circulatory system and then of course it got more and more refined and we have this amazing structure yes no very good very good yes awesome chali so we are clear with this right now everyone so what i'll do i'll make a very rough diagram over here right for all of us to understand see this is just for us to understand about the heart everyone this is not the diagram that you should draw in your school notebook or in your school examination do not draw this diagram in your school examination it is for our understanding chal right over here do not draw this in exam slash notes notebook okay for your better understanding you just use it okay chaliye yes yes we will will remember this as a trick everyone are we clear okay what is the yellow part Okay, not this one. You will have the green one. The lungs, everyone, are in the green color. I hope that you can see. Then, of course, we have body. And now we'll talk about. Shall you? So, everyone, let's start with this. I'll explain. What is right atrium? Right atrium is the chamber. What is right ventricle? Right ventricle is the chamber. Okay. What are the right and the left ventricle? But these are the chambers. Right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. Yes. Inferior. I will explain you. Inferior. We are covered. But just give me some time. We are here only. Chali. So everyone, what will happen? Jaldi se. Okay, you tell me. When we inhale, what we it what we take? Everyone, quickly tell me. When we inhale air. What goes inside our body? Jaldi se. Catherine, I'll answer your question. They're actually not blue. That's that's the illusion that we have. Very good. When we breathe, what we take? Very good. We take oxygen. So from the lungs, what will happen? The oxygen-rich blood will come happily through the pulmonary vein. Through the pulmonary vein remember this right which vein is carrying the blood oxygen rich blood to the left side of the heart is the pulmonary vein then from the left atrium the blood will move to the left ventricle clear everyone from the left vent atrium the blood will move to the left ventricle from here it will go to here and then from here it will go to the biggest artery in the human body can anyone quickly name it can anyone quickly name the which is the biggest artery in the human body the biggest artery in the human body is the aorta very good so from the right from the left ventricle what will happen the aorta the biggest artery in the human body will carry the oxygen rich blood to the body and that's how the the stomach liver and other important organs will get the oxygen clear now when this transfer is happening we can see that oxygen is moving right 
Now let's talk about the waste part. So we know that when we release out, what we exhale out everyone, right? When we take oxygen and we, re and we release out what? We release out what? We release carbon dioxide. So now the body will be giving up the carbon dioxide and vena cava. The biggest vein in the human body, vena cava, will carry the carbon dioxide rich blood, CO2 rich blood, vena cava. There are two types. We have inferior vena cava and we have superior vena cava. The superior vena cava will carry the blood from the top part of the body, right? Carries blood from top part. Whereas inferior will be carrying from the abdomen part. Clear? Yes. Clear? Very good. So we have vena cava, right? And of course, uh, we have in that, if you want to learn more about it, we have the inferior and the superior vena cava. Inferior vena cava carries the blood from the abdomen part of the body and superior carries from the top part, the upper body part. Uh, from, from there, it carries out that. Yes? Yes, very good, very good, right? So we have vena cava. Now, what will happen over here? The blood will go into the right atrium. It will go into the right atrium. Yes, clear? Got it, Yuvika, got it, right? So it goes into the right atrium. And from there, it goes to the right ventricle. And from there, it goes to the lungs. Now, if anyone, can you tell me which of the artery is carrying the carbon dioxide rich blood from heart to the lungs very good very good we know that it is the pulmonary artery what is it it is the pulmonary artery clear very good very good so from the right ventricle we have the blood moving to the lungs with the help of pulmonary artery we have studied about this exception, right? Yes. So everyone, I will move aside. You take a picture. I will mention some extra points about the different valves that we have over here. Right? I'll write uh, probably uh, on this particular side. But it's an extra information, everyone. We have different valves all together. So I'll just draw. We have bicuspid valves. We have tricuspid valves. Bicuspid valves, tricuspid valves, then we have semilunar valves, okay? That's, you should understand everyone, these valves are present here and of course from the ventricles and the arteries and the arteries and ventricle point, okay? So valves are not important, so we'll not go into that detail. You'll be learning in your higher class, but as of now, everyone, I hope that you are clear with this part, that how the circulation is happening. Right? How the circulation is happening. Clear everyone? Very good. Catherine, I think, Bache, see, it's not the blue color. We usually use it. It has the... Of course, when we call we, when we call it as right, we we can say that we have the physics involved over here. Depending on the wavelength of the light, right, that's how we have the reflection. Blue is the farthest farthest, right? So yeah, we have that physics over there. So you can definitely read more about it, right? It's not the blue color. Yes, we don't have menti today. We'll be having in the near future. Sometime, Ara, what happens when heart has a lot of pressure? Now there could be various different reasons for the heart attack. Sometimes in a very adverse condition, when heart is kind of under a lot of pressure and cannot work, we'll see the heart attack stopping, right? Yes. Ma'am, what will go to the right ventricle, bache? Right ventricle may will get the blood from the right atrium, which is the carbon dioxide rich blood. So right part carries the carbon dioxide rich blood and the left side carries the oxygen rich blood. Everyone, are we clear? All of you have taken the screenshot. Manish, I have just answered this question. It could be of various lifestyle. Yeah, Yuvika is also helping you. 
it could be a various reason it could be a various reason okay so everyone i'm repeating this again with with not this diagram i hope that all of you have taken the screenshot right santosh santosh diffusion is a process where we will see the molecules moving from the higher concentration to the lower concentration yes okay chali so let's take a quick look everyone over here so we have this we starting from the opposite side right we have the we have the tissues right then of course we have the vena cava right vena cava that carries the madhusmita i'm repeating it again so please do pay attention it will it is carrying the carbon dioxide rich blood it goes to the right atrium see where it is going it is going to the right atrium right and then from there it vents to the right ventricle and from there it goes to the lungs with the help of pulmonary artery so pulmonary artery will carry the carbon dioxide rich blood right to the lungs when we exhale out the carbon dioxide we take in the oxygen right so this oxygen will be traveling with the uh, with the help of pulmonary vein it will be going to the left atrium right and then from the left atrium to the left left ventricle and from there to the aorta right and from there to the different parts of the body yes very good very good yes everyone are we clear everyone are we clear with this jaldi se everyone five more minutes yeah the different parts of the uh, circulatory circulatory system are blood blood vessels and the heart right tell you everyone so let's talk about the very important everyone the heart beat can you see over here yeah over here the heart beat everyone so the rhythmic contraction we know that our heart contract and relax contract and relax so the rhythmic contraction and relaxation makes the heart beat and right what is a heart beat if, how we can calculate number of the heart beat per minute number of the heart beat per minute right and in an adult right a normal adult if there's no disease in the individual they'll have 60 to 100 beats per minute in the adult human body it can vary 70 to sometime we'll be say right so that's a very uh, broad range that we have over here we can definitely measure right uh, the heart rate by keeping by keeping a check on the pulse right over here if you can keep our thumb over the nerve right uh, sorry the blood vessels we'll be able to feel it okay yes so that's a very interesting thing then how do we how we can hear the um, of course the heartbeat right of course we have the stethoscope right which actually uh, comes with the three important parts we have the earpiece chest piece and of course we have the tube right see over here everyone we have see this is a this this is the ear earpiece right we have two these are the earpiece then of course we have the chest piece that is usually kept over here and we can actually hear the sound of our heart and of course we have the tube okay so that's the structure everyone yes so with this everyone we are done with our today's class i hope that all of you have enjoyed let us quickly revise all of you who have some doubts here and there right all of you have doubts some here and there let's focus over here so we talked about the blood circulatory system it has three important components blood then we have blood vessels and we have the heart so we are starting with the blood blood has different components it has plasma platelets wbcs and rbcs rbcs contain a pigment called as hemoglobin that carries the oxygen when we have wbc that plays a very important role in fighting the infection everyone plasma is a majority of the blood part right and it contains uh, different uh, electrolytes different nutrients all together and it plays a very important role in the transportation of nutrient and proteins then we have platelets it actually help in clotting the blood it will it will actually help in uh, making sure there's no oozing out of the blood of, uh, at the wound after some time that's a very simple thing that we can say right then of course we discuss about the blood vessels we have arteries and veins and capillaries arteries carries the blood away from the heart they have very thick wall 
and they do not have any walls. They mostly carry the oxygen rich blood. Veins have thin wall. They carry the blood towards the heart and uh, they have valves in it. Capillaries are very single cell, right? Very small one cell wall structure that actually carries the nutrient blood and carries the waste back to the tissues. Very, very important thing everyone. So it, it goes to the tissues, give them the nutrient and collect the waste. Last but not the least everyone, we discussed about the heart altogether. We have four chamber of a heart, we have left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, right ventricle and of course we have blood vessels like uh, vena cava, superior and inferior, we have iota, we have pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein and all of these are really very important. Yes, right? Bache Arya, Aryan Bache will not call it as a nerve, nerve per se, right? It's a cup, it's a, it's a capillary. Sorry, it's a vein. It's a vein that you see over here. Yes, Shivika. Yes, Ashok Singh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chali. So with this, everyone here, I have a homework for all of you. Everyone, please make sure you hit the like button for the video. Right? I, I think I forgot to say in the between. And I think we don't have that many likes in the video. Hone chahiye na likes. But likes nahi hai. Everyone, please make sure you hit the like button for the video. It means a lot when you hit the like button, everyone. Here's a homework question, everyone, for all of you. Homework question kya hai? We have an activity, right? You can actually make your own stethoscope, right, at your home. Try it out, everyone, and we have a Google form. There's a Google form in the description, everyone. Make this and share this with us through the Google form, right? And your post will be going on the community post. So please do share your entries with us. We'll be posting it on the community post, writing your name. So it's a very good thing, right? I really want to see. Tell me everyone, how many of you will do this? Batao, batao. Yes. Current education. Yes, bache. One minute. Bache will keep. Uh, will uh, Yuvika, not sure. Tomorrow will not be able to keep due to some other classes. We'll see. Current education is asking me, what is heartbeat? This is not an adult, bache. I did get your question. Right, of course, when the fetus is there inside the womb, they can actually, uh, we have some devices that actually help measuring. And once the baby is out of the mother's womb, right, this instrument will definitely work. Okay, chali. So everyone, I'll, I will be waiting for your entries. There is a homework question, everyone. Right, please make your own stethoscope, right? It's an activity in your textbook also. Do share your entries with us through the Google form. Right, and the form is in the description box below. So I'll be waiting for it. We will definitely plan a mentee quiz for this in the upcoming weeks. Do not worry about it. If you have any doubts, everyone write in the comment section below. We'll be answering those doubts. Okay, so with this everyone, we are done with the class. I hope that all of you have enjoyed. Right, I hope that all of you have enjoyed. Plants cut transportation we will be dealing in the next class. So don't worry about it. Awesome. I can see that many of you are saying that it was my first class. I hope that all of you enjoy. See, but Joe, what happens over here at YouTube sometime, due to the more number of the students in the class, we might miss you calling out your name, right? But it's not that we are ignoring you. We are here to teach you. So please trust us. Okay? On that note, everyone, I will say bye-bye to you. Each one of you, thank you for being here with us till the end. If you are new here, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And please make sure you hit the like button for the video. We'll be meeting really very soon, everyone. Till that time, until the ump, um, until next time. See you there, everyone. Lots of love and keep on learning with my juice. Bye bye. Good night, everyone. Good night and hearts to all of you. Good night, everyone. Bye bye.